Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you my WWE, AEW, and Impact Wrestling WWE. Wait, well, I already said WWE. Action figure setup. We got some AEW people in here, some WWE, and some Impact Wrestling people. So, I guess we can start down there. Right there, we have the glorious Ben Balor in his really cool leather jacket. He's about to fall onto Rich Swan. He thought he could fly, but he fell on the table. Oh, man. And then over here we have freaking Dolph Ziggler super kicking TJP in the face. Cause you know, Dolph Ziggler loves, loves to super kick people in the face. And how's he still standing? I don't know. I didn't use a stand. And then over here we have Tommaso Ciampa about to do that one move he does. I'm not sure how he does it, so I just put gold dust like that. Pretending like I knew what I was doing, but I actually don't know what I'm doing. Tommaso Ciampa put that freaking uh, Jeff Hardy shirt on him. Right here we have freaking Adam Cole about to bust open Cody Rhodes' head with that NXT Championship. Because, you know, Adam Cole... Wait, this is before NXT on Wednesday, so tomorrow's going to be NXT. So I'm not sure he's going to retain the championship. If he's gonna retain it or not. Well, wait, 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 I'm so freaking confused. Hold up. I think he's gonna defend it in a pay per view or something like that. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But, anyways, over here we have Tommy Dreamer. It's about a face splash thingy majiggy. Johnny Gargano right into the table. And look, just look at what happened earlier. I was cleaning up my room. I was like, la 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 Hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Here's the other piece of someone else how to fix this, put it down in the comments below. I just freaking ruined this figure and I checked on eBay, that thing cost like 30 to 40 dollars and I'm not paying 30 to 40 dollars just for a little freaking toy drone. And over here, talking about Matt Hardy, we have the Fiend and I still haven't gotten my Fiend figure, it's gonna come in like next month. I think, or something like that. He's about to do, oh, I didn't even tell y'all what he was doing. Oh wait, yes I did, what am I talking about? Over here we have Bray Wyatt, about to do Sister Abigail to Matt Hardy like this. Oh, there you go, that was perfect. Why can't I do this in my action figure freaking blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk to you guys. What did I just say? I don't even know what I'm saying. But over here, we have Neville or Pac or whatever you want to call him. He's about to do that one red arrow move. I don't watch AEW or Impact or all oh, um, uh, uh, can't talk. To I don't watch anything else but WWE. I watch NXT, Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. You can't do Fire Live. I know, right? I watch 205 Live. It's pretty trashy, but I still watch it because I still care about WWE. Wait, what? I watch on um, 205 Live because it was interesting at first, but then it got boring. It's currently really boring. They got a bunch of jobbers just fighting each other. So I, I'm not sure what's going on there. But right there we have RVD. Right here we have Pac. Over here we have Drew McIntyre doing a Claymore kick to Chris Jericho. That is really cool. Look, you see that stand right there? He's not even using that. Pretend that's not even there, guys. Uh, I'm going to stop trying to be cringy. I'm going to turn to my old self. Well, it was really boring. Over okay, here we have the majestic Roman Reigns and the majestic Seth Rollins and the majestic Dean Ambrose. I don't really like St. John Moxley because I don't really like him being an AEW and I want him back in WWE. Uh, yeah, but as a World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, anyways, over here we have the majestic Shield coming back together one more time to take out the Rhino. And then over here we have Pete Dunn freaking. Freaking, 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 freaking. I know, right? Freaking. No, he's actually pulling. Wait, let me move this a little bit. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. There we go. Grab his hand. Grab his hand. Grab his. Gra Can't you freaking grab his hand? Grab his freaking. No! Freaking grab his freaking hand. You know what? I don't care. Yeah, go back. Go back to your mother. Go, go, go cry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But over here we have Daniel Bryan doing the yes kicks to, uh, what's his name? Jake Hager? Jake Hager from AEW. And Adrian Styles is helping him out because they're best buddies. Yeah, yeah Daniel, go kick him. Go powie. 
And there goes the shield, you coward. You oh bleh. I was about bleh, bleh. I was about to say moron idiot. But I screwed that over. I can't even call myself an idiot. But over here we have Paul Heyman. He's watching Brody Lee. Also known as Luke Harper. Gonna do some weird cool maneuver to or manure, heh <laughs> He's gonna do some manure to Brock Lesnar like this. Kapowie. There goes Brock Lesnar. Like, yeah boy, yeah boy, yeah I just beat you up boy. Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm not trying to copy Grimm's toy show by the way, for those think I was trying to copy him for a second. That just came up to an iron because he got that thing stuck in my head. Oh, we here we last setup actually, I think so. Yeah, this is the last setup. We have Arn Anderson and Jake the Snake Roberts over here cheering on his pe their people from AEW. I had to do some research, I didn't even know he was in it. I kind of knew he was in it, but I didn't know what he was doing there. I also had to research where, who was it? He was. TJP was, uh, where is he, Tommy Dreamer, I thought he was in something else, I thought he was, I thought he was in like, um, some weird indie scenes or something, but anyways, if you like, oh actually, before I say uh, all that dumb stuff, I would say at the last, last part of the video, which y'all never watch, I'm pretty sure y'all don't, I was supposed to go on a toy hunt, do a toy hunt video today, I was gonna try to, but my mom went super early to Walmart, like she parked in the parking lot like this like her car's this big she moved all the other cars away she got out the car let's get my mom let's pretend it's my mom gonna pretend bray white's my mom she's walking into the store blah 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 she goes into the dirty action figure area and there goes my stuff and i was like oh man there's gonna be a super luxurious freaking 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 um what do you call it again? Action figure display and stuff. There's gonna be loads of cool action figures like a unmatched fury, a raw van dam, a freaking MVP figure, some booyos, and it actually has a three pack in it still. Some Rey Mysterio, some CM Punk, some Kurt Angle, some Seth Rollins, some uh these guys. I thought I was gonna find all that, but look at what I found. Yes, you're looking at it. This majestic area selection. Not crap like this. No, they didn't have crap like this. They didn't even have a Toys of the Tales of Rust for Jeffrey. The, um, uh, yeah. No, they had that crap. They had some AJ Styles and some Finn Balor. Freaking basic figures. They didn't have none of the new Otis, new Tucker figures. So I'm disappointed. But anyways, if you like that action figure setup video, put it down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.